What really makes it come to life is how the hardware and software work together. It's the perfect example of how the best of Google Smarts combines to make a great, simple user experience. The phones are part of the continuum, a part of the new Google portfolio of hardware devices. So yeah, the phones are great, but I think the importance is that they're part of a portfolio that enable this whole new disruptive thing of AI-enabled virtual personal assistants. And that's what really excites me. It's not one device in, um, in isolation, it's the entirety of the portfolio of devices and software and back-end services. That's the really disruptive theme of uh, today's event. The one on the left, has video stabilization turned off, the one on the right has it on. They have to break into Amazon Alexa's world. So over the last six or nine months, I've seen Amazon Alexa proliferate a lot of the spaces, especially coming from connected home type of applications. Now, Google still has a bunch of white spaces that they can explore. To see comfortably, some people need some help. And so we made sure that the headset fits nicely over eyeglasses. What I missed today, what I didn't see was Google bringing to the fore their assets and their research in the automotive space, especially self-driving cars, connected cars. Google is doing so well there, and that's an aspect of virtual personal assistance, AI, uh, all of these things that uh, Google was talking about that I bet will be coming in one of the future announcements.